Put a hand up if you have a closet full of clothes, but you always feel like you have nothing to wear. Don't worry, you're not alone. Help is on the way. Style expert Nick Strelitz has a wardrobe purge plan that will help you say goodbye to stress and hello to style. Hey, Nick, where do we even start? All right, Tracy Moore, step one, we are defining and redefining our style maybe for the first time. It's time to get Mahatma Gandhi up in here and we're setting <laughs> intent, okay? We're putting pen to paper to actually think about those questions. What do we want for our style? What do you want our clothing to say? Dig deep, ask yourself questions like what colors are best for me, the fits. How many people have actually sat down and done that? I've done that for myself and it's helped me tremendously in whittling down not only the items I have in my wardrobe that I wanna get rid of, but when I'm going to purchase in store, I go reflect back, is this part of my intent? You really need to sit down and think in real terms what you want your style to be and say. Okay, so we have set the intention. Now, what is the next step uh, to going about cleaning out that closet? All right, this is step two. It's called the great dump. Not that kind of dump. Get your mind out of the gutter, viewers. <laughs> what you need to do, first and foremost, Casey, you need a friend, a BFF. We hold so much nostalgia and sentimentality right around our clothing. We need an objective outsider to come in and say, girl, get rid of that. You ain't going to wear that. We all have that person in our life. Who would that be for you, Tracy Moore? You know what, there's a lot of people I can think of. I would, I would think, you know, maybe I'll lean on T. Maybe I'll lean on T, uh -huh. have her come over, check out my closet. You're gonna give me the honest opinion, but I just don't know. Are you, are you in a position to help me with the purge? Probably not, because <laughs> I like to hang on to things, right? right? I'm that person who's like, that's my funeral dress. I'm gonna wear yes. that to a funeral. I'm gonna wear that, oh, to someone at a wedding. Or I'm gonna, I always keep thinking these like reasons why like, I need to have that. Even though it's something that's probably gonna happen two years from now, three years from now, maybe never, but I'm like, it might though. So I'm gonna hang on to it. So I wouldn't be very good. The you. only thing I will say is that you're probably going to be better with me than you would be with you. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, probably. You're probably like, get rid of that. Yeah, what are you doing? I've got clothes yeah, everywhere. Keep that. Get rid of that. Yeah, I have clothes everywhere. I'm not going to help you. You're not going to help. So the point is, uh, get a friend who will be discerning and who knows how to purge, right? What's the next uh, part of this advice, Nick? Okay. Next, we're dividing, Tracy, into three piles. Those items we're gonna keep, those items we're gonna store, and those items we're gonna give away. The magic rule, viewers, for the items you're gonna keep. Have you worn that piece in 12 months? If the answer is no, it's a toss, right? We've been mm. through all four seasons. If you haven't worn it then, you're never gonna wear it. The items that we're gonna give away, always to charity, right, guys? But the magic rule is, if it's tattered and unwearable, don't donate, right? We wanna donate pieces that people are actually gonna use, utilize, and wear well. For those items we're going to store, Tracy Moore, we want to be discerning as well. We want to utilize canvas bags for all those items. And why canvas? It lets our clothing breathe. Too often times people vacuum seal. It doesn't allow your natural fibers to breathe and they start to degrade. Tissue paper is going to be your new best friend, BFF. Tissue paper is ideal because when we're storing pieces, it's a natural anti-wrinkler. As well, when you store pieces on top of each other, the fabrics start to rub together and degrade. So tissue paper is great for that. This is a huge task, Tracy Moore, but I promise you viewers, once you get rid of pieces, you feel so much lighter on your feet because clothing, material possessions, they bog us down, right? So this is really purging body, soul, and mind. E pray, love, Miss Julia Roberts. Okay, no you have purged to the point where you have like the, the basics, you have the bare minimum. You probably can see every single item in your wardrobe and maybe this is the first time you've been able to do that. What's next? Next step is the capsule wardrobe. So once we've divvied out what we're keeping, what we're storing, there's always five or so pieces I espouse every season that people need. And I've got my top five for your capsule wardrobe. These pieces form the foundation of any good winter wardrobe. So we're gonna make up the difference between the pieces you have and what you might not have. Let's start with the coat du jour for the season, right? We're doing wool, we're doing belted, and we're doing oversized. Why belted? I always say this, Tracy, what's my motto? Cinch for the gods, now we're doing for the guadesses, all of them. We want to create shape, right? Is this color practical, I ask you, Tracy? I don't care, it's just so good. That's what, it's not practical, right? I always talk about your blacks and your grays, but I'm throwing practicality to the wind because this is the color right now, but what do you need to know about maintaining this color, right? Because soot, dirt, you're sitting on the subway, these aren't easy to maintain. 
Distilled white vinegar is going to be your best friend. Equal parts white wine vinegar, equal parts water, a little dab on a little cloth, and you're good to go with this. Ooh, good okay, tip. the top of the season, it's the black turtleneck. I wear this almost every day. It's where effortlessness meets sophistication. Why black? Well, it's slimming, it's sophisticated, right? And we're doing body con, we're doing fitted. My top tip though for wearing fitted, you want to contrast with something oversized on top. That's why I've got this puffer sleeveless vest and we're adding beautiful drama from the contrast. All right, Nick, since we're talking capsule collection, what about pants? Ooh, I have the winner right here, Miss Moore. Three words for you, jersey, high-waisted, elasticized, Band. Why jersey? Because it stretches to your individual body type. Why high-waisted? Because we're sucking in, providing extra support. And why elasticized band? Do I really need to say that? You can eat and eat and eat, girl, and you're going to keep growing in the best way possible. Is there a sexier item of clothing in your closet than the leather biker jacket? This is Nick's promise to you. You will pick up in this jacket. I picked up many a man wearing this on the streets. It is ultra sexy, but we're doing long line for the season, Tracy. So it's gonna extend past through your hips. Again, it's sucking in and creating much drama as we go narrow in the bottom and a bit oversized on top. Nick, okay, did you wear it with quickly, the scarf? The boots of the season. When you were picking up, did you wear it with the scarf? Hell yes, I just wore the scarf. I, it was no jacket. <laughs> I just had a scarf on. For some reason, people respond to that. I don't know why, but it's a natural, a natural odor that I permit? Ooh, that sounds gross. <laughs> TMI, Tracy, TMI. Okay, the shoe of this season, everyone. Forget the black boot. What is this? I'm getting rid of the black boot again. We're doing light suede and beige. So now we know what the capsule wardrobe is. You've told us how to maintain the capsule wardrobe. We're going for the beautiful creams and some really nice black statement pieces. And if we follow these rules, we are gonna keep our wardrobe in check. Is that what you guarantee, Nick? I guarantee it 100%, but you need to make sure that when you're putting your pieces back into your wardrobe, you're starting with a beautiful, clean face. Think about your point of reference when you wake up in the morning, JC. You write, roll over, get on Instagram, scream at your partner. Inevitably, <laughs> you're going to go to your closet to pick out what you wanna wear. It sets the precedent for the kind of day you have. If you open your closet to dishevelment, to chaos, what do you think that's gonna set for your day, right? For intent again. So we wanna do a new paint job, white, light, and bright. That's what I need, Depend irrespective of how big your closet is, we're doing a new paint job. We're doing ultra thin hangers, non-slip in the same colors. Why ultra thin? To maximize space. And uniformity is key, Tracy. It's all about a point of reference for your eyes, right? You wanna make, make your day the most planned as possible and start it in the most organized fashion. And we're doing non-slip because you don't want your clothes obviously to fall off. I have two simple rules, Tracy, though, when it comes to moving ahead with your fall wardrobe. Number one, one in, one out, okay? If you're gonna go buy a piece of clothing, make sure then you're putting one in, you're taking one out. Again, we're, we're staying true to the intent and the intent of organization. And number two is the sale rule, right? Black Friday is coming up. We have a tendency to over splurge when things are reduced in price. Ask yourself this question. Would I buy this piece, this garment, if it was full price? If you would, then it's a deal. If you wouldn't and you're just buying it because it's reduced, don't. Don't purchase. We have enough in our closets. Oh, this, these are really good tips. We all got to rack it back a little bit, and I think that's fantastic. Getting us to get those quality items and nothing more. One in, one out. Nick, fabulous. Thank you for that. Thank you, Jim.